I'm Holly and today I'm going to be looking at the highest rated books that I've read on Goodreads. I've seen this kind of video on quite a few people's channels but the most recent one was read by Jess so I'll link her video in the description. The basic premise of what you're doing is you're going on Goodreads, you're sorting your red shelf by rating and seeing which books that you've read are the highest rated. I think this is going to be really interesting. We're going to be finding out together. My predictions are kind of the it's probably going to be sequels because people who've read sequels usually like the first book so they're more likely to rate that one highly and enjoy that one too. And then from Read by Jess's video I think Heartstopper was on there and I know I've read Heartstopper so I'm thinking maybe Heartstopper is going to be on here. Okay so I'm not going to screen record this because I don't know how to do that. But I'm on my red shelf. I have 260 books on that. Cool. And then let's sort it by rating. So the oh. first one we have is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This has a 4.54 rating, which actually I'm quite surprised about because even though I know that so many people love this, I gave this five stars. But I don't think everyone loves it. The fact that it has a 4.54 rating suggests that most people are rating it four or five stars. And this is the first in an adult fantasy trilogy following this man called Quoth. He's recounting his life story. He's been to a magical university. He's apparently done all these amazing things. This whole trilogy is called The King Killer Chronicle. So I assume at some point he's going to kill a king and he's become this infamous wizard, this infamous magician. I really enjoyed this. Like I said, I gave this five stars when I read it. I read the second book as well. I think I might have given that one five stars too. I can see why this has a lot of appeal. It has a lot of elements that people would really enjoy. I enjoyed them. The magical school, the adventure. Maybe the only people who are going to attempt this massive book are probably fans of fantasy, like dense, high, massive fantasies. I don't think just an average reader would pick this up, which might be why the rating is higher. So that was the 10th book. So the next one was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the illustrated edition by JK Rowling and illustrated by Jim Kay. And that got a 4.56. Again, I'm not really that surprised that this has done so well, especially considering this is the illustrated version because I don't think people will have bought this unless they like Harry Potter. And I really enjoyed this. I gave this five stars. First two, I think I only gave them four stars, which might be controversial, but I definitely could see the story developing in this one. I, I'm not surprised that this one is in the top 10. Prisoner of Azkaban, the illustrated edition. So yes, that is the next one. God's Grave by Jay Kristoff, which has a 4.56 rating. This is the second book in the Nevernight Chronicle, which follows a teenage girl who goes to an assassin school to learn how to become an assassin and avenge the murder of her father and the imprisonment of her mother and her brother. I love this series. Nevernight is my favourite book of all time. This series is probably my favourite series of all time. I just love the world in this. I love Mia as a character. The assassin school element. I just love everything. And Jay Kristoff's writing is also quite unique. He uses footnotes and they're very snarky. They talk to the reader directly and I just love it. I, I just love everything about this. If you haven't picked up this series yet, I'd highly recommend it. What is the next one going to be? It's Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman, which has a 4.57 rating. This is a book that I love. I gave this five stars as well. It's about these two teenage boys who fall in love. You have Charlie, who is openly gay, and Nick, who doesn't know that he likes boys, and it's their budding romance. It's so cute. It's a graphic novel. I don't know if I said that. And the art style is really sweet. It's just a great book. So the sixth book on this list. Interesting. It's The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. This has a 4.57 rating. They're all very close together 
And this is the sequel to The Name of the Wind. Again, I love this, I gave it five stars. So far, I think I've given them all five stars, which is good. That means that I'm rating like the majority of people. Yeah, a great book. So, in the fifth place, we have... Ooh! That is interesting. Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, which has a 4.58 rating. I am really surprised at that. I'm really surprised. This is the third and final book in the Infernal Devices trilogy, set in the Shadowhunter world by Cassandra Clare. This is set in Victorian England and it follows a girl called Tessa who goes to London to find her brother and she ends up getting thrown into this world of supernatural creatures like vampires and werewolves and fallen angels and stuff like that. I have a controversial opinion on this. I only gave it three stars, which means that I'm less than the majority of people because I just didn't really connect with it. I do like the Shadowhunters world and I'm still interested in reading The Dark Artifices and then is it The Last Hours one that come out? I don't know, I'm so behind. But I do like this world. I know a lot of people love Clockwork Princess, which does make sense why it is one of the highest rated books that I've read. And I know a lot of people find it heartbreaking, but I just didn't have that emotional reaction. I don't know what happened when I was reading this. I just didn't really like it. And then the fourth book is Heartstopper Volume 2. This has a 4.66 rating, which is really high. And this is the second book in the Heartstopper graphic novel series. I love this series. I gave this five stars. I've given them all five stars. I just love them so much. It is a sequel, so it probably is gonna be more likely to be higher rated than the first one. It makes sense. And in the, I don't even know what we're on. Is it the third place? We have Way of Kings part one by Brandon Sanderson which has a 4.66 rating. On Goodreads, I have this rated as a four star, but I think it was a 4.5. It wasn't a five star for me, but I still really love this. This is the first in one of Brandon Sanderson's epic fantasy series. And in this world, the magic system is based on light. So this is obviously only part one of The Way of Kings, which is the first book in this series. I haven't read part two yet, and I really need to get on that. But I enjoyed this. I like the characters. I like the world. I think Brandon Sanderson has a very accessible writing style. If you're a little apprehensive about getting into adult fantasy or you're looking for an adult fantasy that still gives you that depth but is maybe a little bit easier to understand, Brandon Sanderson is great. I am excited to continue this series. I enjoyed what I read. I like the characters. I like the world. I like the writing style. And again, this is another one that I don't think people who don't like epic fantasy are gonna pick up, which is why the rating might be higher. The people who love epic fantasy are gonna love the things that are in here, the fighting, the magic, everything that a fantasy lover loves is gonna be in this book. Okay, in the second spot, ooh, of course, of course, it's Heartstopper Volume 3 by Alice Oseman, which has a 4.68 rating. It's the third published novel in this graphic novel series, the most recent one. Again, I love this, five stars. This follows Nick and Charlie on a school trip to Paris, and I really love that, like, change of setting. It was so cute. They did loads of romantic things, you know, go to the Eiffel Tower. I wonder what the number one spot's going to be, because... I'm very intrigued. We've had The Name of the Wind, we've had The Wise Man's Fear, we've had all the Heartstoppers. What is it going to be? Is it going to be Brandon Sanderson? In the number one spot, the highest rated book that I've read. Let's see. Oh no, I'm wrong and it was Heartstopper. I'm an idiot. Heartstopper. Heartstopper was the number one. Why am I an idiot and why can't I count? So really anticlimactic there because I'd already told you the number one and that was Heartstopper. That does make sense. You know, it's the third one in a series. And yeah, I didn't want to spoil myself so I've zoomed in really close and clearly I can't count to 10. Yes, so Heartstopper is the number one. Then you have The Way of Kings part one, Heartstopper volume two, Clockwork Princess, The Wise Man's Fear, 
Heartstopper Volume 1, God's Grave by Jay Kristoff, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and then The Name of the Wind. The top nine, the top nine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have you read any of these books? What are the highest rated books that you've read? And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and to everyone out there, stay curious. Bye.